Sunday morning, uh, about 5.30, just heading out for my long run, aiming to get to about 30 odd k. Just a bit of an update on the uh, training for the 100k. Still no advice on the Gold Coast 100, whether it's going ahead or not. The Brisbane Marathon, which was to have been held the same day, June 7, has been cancelled. There's probably a pretty good bet that the Gold Coast 100 will be cancelled as well, especially with the tighter restrictions now in place for social gatherings uh, imposed by the government because of the coronavirus pandemic. Like I said in last week's video, I'm just uh, not really worrying about whether it's going to be on or not. I tend to think that it probably will be off. There's been no advice whether that's the case or not. I've been regularly checking their website and also checking their Facebook site, but there's been no mention of anything on there yet. We'll just carry on. I'm just running for, for the enjoyment of it at the moment. been a crazy week with this coronavirus. Every time you turn the TV on or listen to the radio, things are just changing so much with it. Pretty much just kept to myself this week running. As a result, haven't done a lot of filming. This uh, update is going to be pretty short. I've run every day this week, I had three days at home working, a uh, little bit of cabin fever I guess but most of my runs this week I've rolled along a little bit, a little bit quicker pace but I've been surprised that the heart rate remained pretty close to the math levels so that's pleasing. I haven't had my regular rest day this week eight sessions this week because I did a double up Tuesday. I'll put a link to the session I did on Tuesday afternoon with Matt uh, where I did some intervals which worked pretty well. Still feeling pretty good even without the rest day. Even the knees they felt pretty good this week. Still a bit of soreness in there but nowhere near as bad as it has been. I don't know whether the new shoes have got something to do with that or whether it's the faster pace. I would have thought with upping the tempo a little bit that the knees might have reacted in a negative way. But they've actually re reacted in a positive way. So that's really, that's promising signs. Right. Not coffee. Are you stopping? Well, I don't know. Will we stay there? I'm 29.84, we'll... so that'll be 30. That'll do. Okay. All right, I'll see you, Monty's. You've got headphones in. It's all right. It's very loud. Yeah. Scary. See you at coffee. Yep. Just a tick over 30k done. Stopped a bit early to have coffee. Be practicing social distancing, is for sure. Felt oh, pretty good actually. Uh, rolled along a lot quicker than uh, I really wanted to, but these ASICS glide rides just, I don't know, just makes running a little bit so much easier. Anyway, it's about 120k for the week. Knees are feeling really good, like I said. 100% better than what it was two weeks ago. So I'm pretty happy with that. That 510 pace takes in the water stops and a little bit of filming. Stopped about every 5k for water. It's got very warm towards the end and I don't think the warm weather's gone yet. Might be in for a little bit more warm weather as we get closer to winter, but all in all it's been a pretty good week. Just really enjoying running at the moment, just with no set plan, no structure. 
uh, just going out and running to how I feel on the days. We'll just sit tight and uh, hopefully that this coronavirus sorts itself out soon. Yeah.